Hello, TurnMG. Um, uh, this is just a little video to help you to complete the activity which I'd like you to do to explore your identity. So that's our goal for our beautiful orange wall. We want to fill that with lots of things that show what our identity as a tutor group is. So whenever at the beginning of the year I asked you what we could do and what you might like to what we might like to focus on, you came up with this fantastic list. And the thing that really struck my eye was this one as a really important place to start. And so this is what we're going to focus on, sharing some information about each other and focusing on our individuality and what we are like. So how are we going to do this? Well, I want each of you to produce an outcome which is going to go onto the orange wall. And they will look a little bit like this. A good outcome will produce a little square for our wall which displays an aspect of your identity and a really amazing Time Lord sensational outcome we would produce a square for our wall which explores several different aspects of your identity so rather than simply just displaying it you're also exploring it and it's really important to remember that you can only fill an A4 page it can't be any bigger than that so what could it look like? well you could have some images of your favorite things so for example a favorite book, film, sport, etc you can have uh, some images of favorite people and places and that could be family members or famous people that you admire um, or you could think about some favorite subjects or some ideas that you enjoy so if you particularly like astrophysics you might have some images to do with that it could be a written description of your identity um, but if you're going to write a description of your identity can you please have no more than 200 words uh, and make sure that your sentences make sense but I don't mind that it I don't mind if it's in any style or format that you like. So you can write prose, like a story, or you can write poetry. Um, if you want, it could be an iTunes playlist, and you could choose at least 10 tunes that represent different aspects of your personality. Or it could be more visual, so you could think of images that represent who you are. Um, and if you're going to do something like that, it could be a collage, or it could be a, um, a series of... Um, uh, a series of pictures or you could do a drawing or a painting but it must fit on the correct size page which if you remember is an A4. This is the kind of thing I think you would think about if you were maybe thinking about doing something that was more visual. This One of my year 10s did this last year and it is really beautiful. It's a room which is meant to represent their personality. So if you've got a very artistic imagination you might think about doing something similar and they've used words and pictures which they think represent certain things about them feel free to pause and have a look. This is what you might do if you're thinking of doing a written description. Again, please pause and have a read. It's again one of, it's one of my students, uh, year 10 student, who wrote all of the things that make up who they are and I think it's a really beautiful piece of writing. Now you don't have to write something that's exactly the same of this but it's an idea of what you might want to do. And feel free also to use the same style, I am many people, I am, I am, I am. And then finally, if you want to go with the iTunes option, this is just a kind of idea. One of my Year 10 students did this and I thought it was fantastic. They looked in their iTunes um, playlists and they wrote songs which they thought represented things about their personality. And this particular student was really clever because they put the, the, poem, the songs into a poem format so that they almost tell a story about them and each one of these is a different tune on their, on their iPod. Now you don't need to write a poem, you could just write me a list of the 10 songs that you think met best represent you. So just to recap, we are exploring our identity as a group and I will be expecting to have some A4 pages of all of you um, by next Friday.